Pinging a power supply is important, especially when constructing a high-powered editing rig. High-end video cards and multiple hard drives can easily draw high amounts of power. While you could probably get by on 500 watts for a mid-range system and 800 watts for a higher-end system, we decided to go all out on 1000 watts. We chose a single rail 12 volt setup, which leads to a more stable power output. Our power supply also has a special feature known as modular cabling. This allows you to plug in the cables you want to use and leave off the ones you don't, reducing extra clutter in your case. For our computer case, the power supply mounts at the bottom. There's also a vent, so be sure to turn the power supply and mount it with a fan facing out. In some cases, the fan has to stay towards the inside. After you've screwed your power supply firmly to the case, you'll need to start attaching the power cables. For our build, we'll be using the main motherboard connector, two additional motherboard connectors, a SATA power cable for the hard drives, another SATA power cable for the optical drives, a power cable for the video card, and an older style power connector for the case fans. Connect each to the power supply and snake them through the case to the different connection spots on your components. So to review, select a power supply with enough capacity. Mount it to the case. Determine which cables you'll need for your components. And then wire it up. For the IDG News Service, I'm Nick Barber.